Hey there, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the DJI FPV drone. I'm going to do a flight test time on this thing to see how long it actually will fly for and how long it will hover for on one battery, so stay tuned. So according to the documentation, this will go for 20 minutes in the air uh, at 40 kilometers an hour with no wind. Now fortunately, there is very little wind today. That's why it's kind of foggy. The wind hasn't come in and blown it out yet. And according to the documentation, it will go for 16 minutes just hovering, again, with no wind. Now those are in ideal conditions, meaning that um, you're probably not going to actually accomplish that, but I want to see how close we can get. So I have four batteries. They're all charged to 100%. I put four brand new props on this thing, and I'm going to see how long it will fly in acro mode, just flying around, not doing anything too crazy, but just having a little fun like you might do in the real world. I'm going to fly it down to 25% battery, land it, and then do the math to figure out what that remaining 25% theoretically would give you in terms of overall maximum flight time. Then I'm going to do the same thing hovering. Fly it down to 25% and do the math to see how long it would have hovered uh, if we had gone all the way to zero. Now I do know that batteries um, discharge at different rates during the cycle of the discharge, meaning they might discharge faster as they get closer to zero, but I'm not accounting for that. I'm really just doing pure math and going to figure out what it would have been theoretically if it had stayed at the same rate that it was for the first 75% of the flight. So let's get this one up in the air and we're going to fly it around with two different batteries and then take the average of those two flight times and see how it does. Now I want to be clear that the batteries in these quads are fairly new. They probably have three or four cycles each on them. Uh, and so, you know, they're all uh, about the same age. I haven't had this quad for very long. And also they were charged yesterday on the charger to 100% capacity. They do discharge automatically over time. They're smart batteries. They're designed to do that. But right now looking in the goggles, I can see that this one says it has a charge of 100%, the, the um, battery in the quad. So we should be good to go. Also. I don't think it's fair if you run this test with damaged or bent props, and so I put brand new props on it, never been used before, my others are kind of nicked up from a few crashes, so we're doing that as well. So just to try to give it the best odds possible in terms of how it can fly. So I'm going to use my phone as a timer. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording on the quad right there, and I'm going to go ahead and switch it to manual mode, which is there. And I've already done the override in order to be able to put it in manual mode. Again, battery showing 99% now since I had um, I'd let it sit here for a minute or two. And I'll start the clock and I'll go ahead and double tap to fire it up. And here we go. So just gonna fly it around a little bit. hear some birds sound a little upset about this oh, there's a bird oh mr. bird oh, there's a bunch of them they definitely hear this guy All right, so I'm just kind of whipping around the field. Fairly fairly quick pace, actually. I might slow down just a little bit. It says ideal speed in no wind to get the best flight time is 40 kilometers an hour. Maybe give it a little flip or two, just for fun. The 
This thing is fast. You really need some space to fly this in. You're not going to be able to fly this in your backyard, at least not in manual mode. It just wants to go. Slow it on down. I do like how the home point indicator stays wherever home point actually is. We're at 74% battery now. Not sure what the time is because I've got the goggles on and my counter in here is not accurate. I'm imagining it's about three minutes. Okay, we're down to 27% on the battery. So in the interest of bringing it in and landing it at uh, 25%, I put it into um, normal mode where it's holding via GPS. And I'm gonna just, it's 26 now. I'm gonna bring it over here just so that it's easy to land. 25%, down we go. All right, and then we'll stop the clock. And the time to 25% is 9.45. So I don't know if you can see that, 9.45.84. So that's my first flight with it, 9.45.84. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Cool. And now let's do it again. Okay, time for battery number two. Go ahead and get the clock reset. Again, this is gonna be flying around in acro mode, mostly, uh, down to 25% battery. This one also says 100% here in the goggles. And so uh, it should be apples to apples. And then start the clock, actually. Start, double tap, and up we go. And again, gonna fly this guy down to 25%. Do a couple flips in the process. A couple flips and rolls. Gotta work on those. <laughs> okay, we're down to 26% on the battery. And gonna bring it over here and get ready to land. And up oh, there's 25%. Down we go. And stop the clock. All right. And that time, it looks like we got a good amount more, 1033 for the total flight time. And again, down to 25% battery versus I think it was 945 last time. But I will say that time I flew a lot more that time I flew a lot more mellow. I was really uh, just kind of cruising around. I did a couple of flips, but not nearly as many as I did the first time, and I flew slower and straighter. So it seems like uh, flying slower and straighter does give you increased flight time uh, versus doing lots of uh, flips. And also I think part of it is when you really accelerate or drop quickly so that you have to catch yourself, that uses a lot more of the battery. So interesting that uh, out of the two, 945, 1033, so probably an average of about uh, 10, 15 or so, or 10, 10, as far as the time goes. I'll figure that out. But if you then figure that that's three quarters of the battery life, then you could figure out what the total flight time would have been between those two flights. So now we're gonna try just hovering. It's supposed to be a little less time uh, because it's not using that forward momentum to give it extra lift. So let's see how it does. Okay, so of course to hover it, I'm not gonna have it in manual mode because then I'd have to sit there and mess with it the whole time. Uh, so I'm just gonna put it into normal mode, find a good stick setting for the throttle that is uh, neutral so it's not going up and down. 
and then just let it hover until it gets down to 25% battery. So I've got a normal mode now. The battery is at 99% because it's been sitting there running for a few seconds. So I will go ahead and switch over to the clock, reset the clock, start it. It's running now. And for this, you actually just pull the sticks down and in to start the throttle. And I'll take it a little bit away from me so it's not quite so loud. But yeah, it is now hovering. Doesn't look like it's going up or down at all. It's just hanging out there. So we'll get the battery down to 25% and see how long it lasts. Okay, battery is at 45, now 44%, and the clock just rolled over nine minutes. So 44% at nine minutes. Seems like it's gonna do pretty well, actually. Okay, the battery is at 27%, and we've been hovering for almost 12 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to the landing pad. It's now at 26, and... Twenty-five. Down we go. All right, and let's see what our time was. Stop. Twelve minutes and thirteen seconds on the clock, hovering. So, what that tells me is that the. So what that tells me is that um, the way I was flying was probably putting a dent in how long it would actually fly, because I was going different speeds wasn't just cruising at one speed at one height um, I was really kind of cruising around so I think the way you fly is going to make a big difference since uh, theoretically it can fly further and longer um, or for a longer amount of time when it's moving forward than when it's just hovering even though in this test it flew longer hovering okay so I've decided to change up this test a little bit um, we saw that it hovered longer than it flew in acro but what happens if I keep it in normal mode and just cruise around very somewhat slowly in a very straight line at the same altitude without going up and down a lot? Will that give us a longer flight time than just hovering? Uh, I'd be really curious to see that. So that's what we're gonna try. So we've got 100% on the battery. We are in normal mode. We're gonna record, got 23 satellites and See how this guy does. Let me start the clock. Uh, stopwatch, reset, start. All right, the clock is now running, so down and in. Up we go. And so I'm gonna get it up to, let's say, everything's in meters right now. So I'm gonna get it up to 50 meters. Should be about 150 feet. I shouldn't run into anything, including those lights of the stadium. And then I'm just gonna cruise around slowly. This is the furthest away from me I've ever had it. I've got it at uh, 250 meters away, 300 meters away. All over a forest, by the way. No, no houses or roads. And there are houses and the roads around, but there's a big patch of um, trees back here that I'm flying over. So if it did fall, it would fall into those woods. Okay, we are at almost 13 minutes and at 28% on the battery. So I'm still kind of high and far, so I'm gonna bring it in fairly quickly, not too fast. Still going about eight meters per second. 26% on the battery. All right, battery just went to 25%. I'm gonna bring it in here. Try to land it on the thing, and down we go. 
Okay, it did drop to 24% during that time, but our time, 1341, uh, just cruising around slowly with no wind. So definitely can see uh, the difference here. Let's take a look at those pictures real quick. So we started with uh, pretty quick flying around fast in acro mode uh, or manual mode as it's called at DJI and got 945 before we got to 25% battery. Then we did it again, flew a little more mellow, but still in acro mode, still doing some dives and flips and stuff like that, but not as much. Went to 1033, uh, down to 25% battery. Then just hovering, 1213 uh, in normal mode, just parked in one place with GPS, and then flying around slowly in normal mode with no wind and at about seven to nine meters per second, we got 1341 in uh, normal mode before we got to 25%. So you can really see that how you fly this thing has a big impact on how it behaves and how much flight time you get. Please comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear what you think about the DJI FPV quad. And if you haven't already hit subscribe, I hope you will because we do a lot of cool stuff with FPV and camera drones and other RC stuff. This is Ready Set Drone signing out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.